The judgment came all over the world. But Noah's family survived. The other best part of the story is this. Their food and their water was given to them for 150 days. You know, it would have been impossible for them to store food, ration, water, not only for eight members, but look at all the animals. For 150 days. You know, at the end of the story, we know it lasted for 150 days. But prior to that, Noah did not know how long the flood was going to last. So how many tons of food could he have possibly stored up in the ark if not for the supernatural multiplication of food by God that were even brought to them by the angels of God. Just like the angels brought food to Elijah. Where did that cake and the water come from? Not once, but twice, you know. The angel brought him some honey raisin croissants. <laughs> or muffins. And a cruise, a bottle of water. Where did the angel get that from? They did not walk into any grocery shop to buy, you know. And look at John chapter 21. The Lord Jesus Christ made a fire and he put fishes and he barbecued fishes. Where did he get those fishes from? Right? When you walk in obedience, when you act in obedience, when you live in obedience, even though there be not, it will be there. It will be made there. All you have to do is walk in obedience without pondering about the results. When you walk in obedience unto God, it is God's duty to provide for you, to take care of you.